Batman, issue 70, Tom King writing, Mikel Giannin and Jorge Fornes on the art. And he's finally woken up! Yep. We yeah. have plot again. We actually had an advancement in plot because Batman woke up. <laughs> and we've also had a new thing that I will probably grow to detest. Oh. And that's because that is because Bane. <laughs> because Bane and because Batman are going to go head to head and we're going to see. Yep. So this is basically Batman leaving Arkham Asylum and just punching the shit out of every villain he meets. I, I, met, I love it. I did laugh a lot. Riddler's trying to give him a riddle and Batman just yep. grabs his head and rams it into his knee. <laughs> and then gives him the answer to the riddle. Yeah. He's like, I'm not, I don't have time for this shit. Get him away. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. And he's, he's, he's going through Arkham, just punching the shit out of people. Um, and basically, you know, he ends with, like, okay, I'm not going to get Bane today, but you let Bane know that I'm coming back. I'm coming back tomorrow with my army. So I don't know if that means we're getting the Bat family next issue. Yeah. Uh, rallying up. But he's, I'm coming back, and we're going to talk to Bane. <laughs> like, we're doing this. So, as as much as I loved the Riddler moment, I think the Mr. Freeze moment is my favorite in here. Oh, yeah, but he's like, um, so as a man of yeah. science, how many times have you shot that yep. freeze gun at me, and how many times have I gotten around it? Wouldn't this right. just be quicker scientifically to just... Well, yeah, and then with the, the state that he left Freeze in the last time, mm-hmm. right, with the court thing, it shows that, that Freeze is double, you know, he's thinking twice before pulling that trigger and then he still gets punched out through the helmet like yeah and what i kind of like about this is that as much as bad batman is is very badass in this issue and that he's handling mm-hmm. all these villains he's angry he's you know and you can you can you can debate that he's you know he's been lying there sleeping for however yeah. long how, how i mean admittedly maybe this has just been one night's worth of dreams that he's just going yeah. through quickly i mean i have no idea i mean yeah. I, I think to us it feels like he's been asleep for like two weeks but I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> who knows well yeah but you they, they say you have like eight to nine dreams a night. You just don't remember all of them. Oh, sure. You know? So, yeah. But um, we, we had some good two-faced moments mm-hmm. uh, here, too. Where it's like, I wasn't talking to you. It's kind of even read this because he's been oddly quiet. I did. I, I did. I just, um, I'm not positive about it. So I just didn't want to ruin what you had going. I mean, I, I'm not in love with it, but I, I, I enjoyed it. Like, this is definitely the most I've enjoyed it, a Batman issue in a while. I <laughs> definitely have some forward momentum going. Yes. I, I personally found that I think Nightmares has kind of killed the book for me right now. Because this felt like a chore. Even though it's... I, I I know this... Okay, we're out in the real world now and this is actually happening. It still felt like a chore to read. Like, it, it just went, yeah, okay, this is this is happening. Yeah, I, I agree so. with that. Um, but I know, I know, I know. And, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. This isn't like an objective thing where I'm going, oh, this is really bad. This is just how I felt reading it. I mean, um, I'll, I'll maintain what I said last t- last issue is that I would have cut all of those six or seven nightmare issues into like maybe one or two issues and just have yeah. them sort of cut through them in a sort of montage as opposed to. That, that said, I did like how we got a on the first page. It kind of goes through them all and what mm. Batman thought. And so I think that helps uh, in retrospect. But yeah, it's still way too long. Yeah. Because when you think back, like, oh, yeah, we had that that kid Bruce Wayne character one at the beginning. Yeah. And uh, as much as, like, Batman is very badass in this, I like that there's just that one scene in the middle where Bane's talking to, to Ventriloquist. Yep. And he's like, no, Batman's doing exactly what I want. He's my puppet. Is this what it feels like, Ventriloquist? Yeah. You know, I kind of like that. And then um, he, he turns the tables on Scarecrow, which was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I like the way that that's paneled out. It's very storyboard. Yeah, that may be my favorite page, actually, is uh, Scarecrow yeah. like, lunging at him from above. I really like that, mm-hmm. that panel. Um, yeah, I like, no, I like this issue quite a bit, and I think I like it because typically when the story's moving forward, I like what King does. Um, yeah. Where he's faltered is where he grinds to a halt because he wants to do like a weird you know, exploration yeah. of Batman's psyche. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have often had problems with the dialogue uh, with King, mm-hmm. and I felt like, hey, like you guys, I'm, I'm mildly surprised actually that you guys were so into the, the freeze thing, because yeah. for me that that was really corny and just I kind of no, hated it. No, I I just like it because of what we've seen with that whole no, no, no. The, freeze being terrified part. and his, his reaction. Right. I like that. But Batman's whole thing is, oh, how many times do I fight? You know, fight that going? Can't we yeah. just go through all? You know, that I, I don't know, didn't work. Well, for I like it because this is Batman's had enough. Like this was him coming well, before he got locked in. Here's the thing: if I really believed he'd had enough, he wouldn't be doing any of this. He'd have just punched him. He wouldn't have given that mm. speech. He'd have no, just. So he'd he'd have I don't know them. because he's giving Freeze a chance to 
not. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, he, he's given him a choice. But here's the here's the thing, Connor. The, 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 the reason why he's, he's doing this, the reason every single thing he does with each of these villains and each of these scenes, the whole point of this is it's, it's Batman saying that this is not the first time any of us have danced, right? He's fought Riddler before, he's fought, he's fought Freeze before, he's fought Two-Face before, whoever. And every single one of them is him basically taking this, this shortcut and appealing to them in different ways. Yeah. Riddler is just shut him up because he's never going to, right? We'll be here all day. You know, Two-Face is appealed to Harvey, but not, you know, not obviously Two-Face, two right? Um, yeah. And Freeze is like he's appealing to him to a scientist. It's kind of this idea. It's kind of Batman's mentality as he's going through all these villains. It's like this is why he's going through them so quickly. Because I mean, because you could read this issue and say he's being too like overpowered because he's going yeah. through them all like no, no, no. like okay. nothing. Here's here's my problem with the Freeze one. Based on what you just said there, though, I agree that's the point. But he doesn't give Freeze that chance. He he says these things, but he doesn't actually give Freeze a chance to stop. He doesn't wait for Freeze to react. He just keeps walking and just punches him. Oh no, I disagree. I think you've misread this. Mm -hmm. What Batman's saying is, wouldn't it be easier for me to just walk up and punch you and it'd be over? He's always going to punch him. He's not giving him a chance to not get hit. He's giving him a chance to just make it quicker and just give in and be punched. Yeah, but then he doesn't need to give the speech is what I'm saying there. He can just walk in and punch him. The speech feels corny to me. But then he's That's not what a... I didn't like about it. Yeah, but then he's not making a point. He's not... Freeze isn't like learning anything or whatever. <sighs> yeah, but I, just, I, I, I didn't feel like it was making up enough of a point anyway to, to yeah. justify it. Well, so. I mean, whatever. And yeah, obviously, Scarecrow's better. It's like, no, Scarecrow... Like Batman's dealt with these gas before. He's made himself immune yeah. to a lot of it. He's built up a tolerance... And it ends with him like being behind him, and you know, I, I actually love the panel because it's like it's, he's behind Scarecrow. And he's like, you know, he's basically saying "boo," <laughs> right? It doesn't actually, mm -hmm. but that's basically what the moment is. And then you just get that exterior panel of like the lightning yeah. striking with the scream, and it's it's very horror movie. It, it is very kind of corny and pulpy. Um, I, I think there's there's kind of an element to that. I loved it throughout this. No, I, I like that scene a lot as well. Um, um, have you ever seen this amygdala character before? Uh, Amygdala? Uh, I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen him pop up, but I, I couldn't tell you much about him. Yeah. So I'm going to look him up real quick, because well. i got to see what his thing is. Yeah, of course but you do. They, they paired him with Grundy, and, I mean, for him to take these two out, I'm just like, okay, whatever. But I like the, how it looks. Like, the entire room is now thrashed. Yeah, it looks like he's just hit them with explosives from his belt or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um... No, I, I dug this issue. I, I easily, I was into this issue, and I've not, you know, I've not really enjoyed the nightmare stuff that much. There was positive elements to some of them, and obviously we, we look for positives as we were going. Oh. But I was definitely He's, more into so, this issue by quite a bit. Yeah. Oh wow. So the first time Amygdala comes up was in um, during Nightfall. So that that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. But he has a reduced mental capacity, near superior strength and endurance, but he's prone to outbursts of violence due to medical experimentation on his brain. Chiefly, the removal is of, of his amygdala. So, um, yeah. yeah it's, it's, I guess it's pretty cool that he shows up in this. And, yeah, yeah. say nothing else about it, but they're, they're, he's really building up Bane v's Batman. Like, they're really building up yeah. to this fight. Mm -hmm. What Bane's doing him. And that, that, that was always Bane's thing. If you go back to Nightfall, it was always, no, I'm breaking him, you know, mentally before I fight him. This right, is, yeah. like, that turned up to, like, 50 million. Mm -hmm. So, um... Yeah, so no, I'm. I was more into this issue, so I'm happy to see. Yeah. Uh, what do we think of the art? That's good. Yeah, I, I like it all. I think the the changes were a little bit jarring between them at points. Even though I like both of the artists a mm -hmm. lot, um, like like I did feel the change between them uh, every yeah. time it cut back and forth. I think one thing that helps it is that it's making a distinct choice to be as different as possible because like the colouring, like, you know, Freezy stuff yeah. is all bathed in red, Scarecrow's is all bathed in yellow, yellow, and so on. Yeah. So they all feel so different that it doesn't feel just like... Because if it was meant to be like the same colour palette, and it, it would think, feel more jarring, I think. I think one of the most jarring changes is from Grundy into Two-Face because they're, they're both kind of in the, 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 mm. the pale browns uh, kind of colours and, it uh, you know, it, it switches and it, it feels jarring there that's fair that's fair uh so uh, what were we rating batman matt i'm gonna give it an eight this is uh one of the best one of the better issues since you know, nightmares so since nightmares it's been the only issue since yeah. nightmares well i mean <laughs> since nightmare started i should say okay i'm excited to read batman again I, I, I would say it's probably one of the better issues since the wedding or the lack thereof 
Well, no, because I, since the lack of the wedding, we had the the free stuff, and I still put the free stuff above that. So would I, but like I'm saying, it's yeah. one of the best things. So you get cold days, and you've you've got this. Yeah. All right. Um, Carl, what are you give it? Uh, you were a four point five. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give it a straight A as well. Uh, I I I was really into this issue, so and I'm happy because you know, for, for for like two months there, I was like, oh, Batman's out this week. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah and that's why too. I'm frustrated because I wanted to be feeling like you guys are like come back into it, going, oh yeah, this is it, and and I haven't. But, but and, uh... ginger going to ginger.